goodness. 22,000 gold. Well, guys, hello and welcome back to Story of Seasons, a trio of towns, and we are suddenly very rich. So yesterday, we finally got the opportunity to try out the really awesome new hammer, and we ended up selling quite a few precious gemstones, and clearly that really paid out quite well, because I'm rich now. I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. I'm not rich off of crops. I'm rich off of mining. I can see why West Town was a boom town in its heyday. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Awesome. I'm so excited. My dad will have to believe that I can take care of myself now. I am so pleased. I just have no idea what to do with all this money, though. So let's go ahead and take care of our farm, even though we have um, gained quite a bit in funds. We probably just need to remember to take care of the basics. Oh, no, my little watering can is empty. Okay, let's run and fill this up. I can't believe that one of the farm circles that you can actually make with this thing right here, which is our fun time workbench, my friends. Oh my gosh, let's see, check farm circle inventory. I don't have any of them right now, but there's apparently, oh, you can have 999 of them. Wow, there's apparently a ton of different kinds of farm circles, including cactuses and like special mushroom logs that affect how your crops will grow. And I tried not to peek at too many other ones. Just that got me so excited. Just that, you guys. Mushroom logs, mushroom logs I could decorate with. Oh, that just sounds so fun. But, oh man, what to do with all this money? We'll go ahead and take care of our crops. And I think the first thing I really want to do with the money is maybe invest in trying to get some better equipment. So we can try to take this huge amount of funds that we have. We'll go see what uh, Ludus's upgrades would be for my gear. So maybe we could have a better hammer has clearly being able to mine all of the areas would be really wonderful. You can mine all of the areas in West Town once a day. And the only thing that really, really helps is if you decide, hey, I want some very rare gemstones. Apparently leaving the mining spots alone so that they can recover for a about three days that was what will give you the rarest of the rare gemstones I think that's why we started with super rare ones because we haven't touched the mines ever since we started playing and ever since we moved here moved into our little farm on clover farm oh it's so cute I wish I could have some clovers growing on it just to kind of wrap the name together oh that reminds me we do have grass seeds that I should have been planting by now so hmm maybe I'll plant some of those in just a second all right let's water these maybe I can put the grass seeds I've got enough energy to, to get the grass seeds out and put them down so down they go they can stay over here next to my barn so that my little animals uh, oh I don't need to water this crop if I had known that I would have planted these so much earlier well there you go guys you don't have to water the grass seeds that's really awesome but yeah oh my gosh oh my gosh growing radishes I have a kitchen I'm so rich I need to look in my closet I need to cut down these trees I need to get more lumber I can't believe this is happening but I do think taking care of the mining may really help us out in the future and I do want to do a lot more fishing and I want to be able to get a lot more recipes and give gifts to people and speaking of giving gifts to different people I need to, oh it's dirty in here I need to give a gift to Minty my cow come on Minty no come on you can do it Minty Go outside. Oh, she was so close. Oh, and we should get a pet. Of course. How could I have forgotten? Ew, I just walked through that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and clean this spot up. But we should get a pet so that we are able to have a friend on our farm. That would be so fun. Minty, what do you think about that? I saw a flower. I saw a wild flower. Or a wild flower. It was, well, yeah, it is a wild flower. All right, come on, Radish. You've still got a little bit of chicken feed, too. I should probably go get my animals some more chicken feed and some more fodder before I really start looking into upgrading other stuff because I need to make sure these guys are taken care of. But then I would love to upgrade my chicken coop too. That would be really nice. I know. Hi. Oh, I love you. Minty, you're so sweet. And somebody had the idea of naming our next cow Honey to go with Honey Mint from our Slime Rancher series. And I thought that was adorable. So we'll probably name our next cow Honey and maybe we'll get one of the little blonde ones. That would be so cute. But all right, farm chores are done for the day, my friends. Oh, there's a butterfly, a chestnut tiger. Oh, it's so pretty. And there's a piece of mint, wonderful. I could take that over to the doctor and give him some gifts. Now I can afford to actually get some flowers too, which would be really awesome. Oh, and the mail. All right. Oh, Gulliver's has some new products. Let's go check out what's going on there. And Jamba also has some new products. So let's go see what Gulliver's and Jamba are selling. And do I have any more food 
in my bag from the food I've made. I do, I have some potato bread and I have some vegetable bread from the food that I have already made, but let's go make another vegetable bread really quickly. Just to make sure, oh, let's turn my little light on. Just to make sure that I am ready to go, ready and rearing to go for the day. All right, let's make some vegetable bread. Well, potato bread, I think, actually helps us out. Um, helps us out a little bit more. So, hang on, I, I, I take it back. All right, I want potato bread. And I'm gonna use some flour. And I'm gonna use potatoes from my storage. So you can swap between what you have in your bag right here, or you can swap between what you happen to have in your storage chest. And I have a pretty juicy potato that I grew all by myself. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. And we're gonna make, um, I only have one flour, so we're gonna make one more potato bread. Dun 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 dun! Fresh homemade cooking, first thing in the morning! Oh, that's so exciting! I wanna go buy some more recipes! I wanna buy so many things, so I guess that money isn't going to go as far as I thought it would. Oh, and speaking of money and things like that, how close am I to leveling up our town link? <gasps> you guys, look at this! We might get to town link D with West Town! Oh, we need to hurry! Oh, hello, little butterflies! Hi! We need to hurry and we need to go give people some gifts because maybe we'll be able to rank up with West Town. That would be so exciting. Alright, the little foxes are out and about. Uh, some people have said try giving the foxes an egg. Hmm. I only have one egg right now and I kind of want to give it to my uncle. So I'm going to hold on to it for now, but I will definitely remember that for the future. Alright, let's go up to West Town. And let's see what's going on in West Town today. So we have the kitty cats, there's the mongoose, some beautiful butterflies, some little honeybees. Let's see, yep, more little wild butterflies. We can come over and say a quick hello to everybody. Hello everyone, hey Hector. Speaking ain't my strong suit. Hi guys. Oh, I feel so good. I want to share is what Noelle was saying. Hi, Desi. I'm feeling super duper, Desi says. That's so cute. I need to figure out where on earth I could find... No bear! Bad bear! Ugh, that bear and I are always at odds with each other, it seems. But I need to find out where I could possibly find more strawberries or some strawberries. Any strawberries. I don't have any strawberries at all at the moment. But if I manage to find some, I could give them to Desi because they're one of her favorite things. All right, so Gulliver's General Store. All right, I only tell anglers this, but the truth is that we also take orders for bait here. The jack of all trades and uh, Lulu Coco is great at setting bait to fishing rods, so go talk to him. So what can I do for you? That's interesting, so you can make bait. My super secret service is at your gosh darn disposal. What kind of bait do you wanna make? That's so interesting, so we can make our own fish bait. You need two small fish in order to make the bait, and I wonder what kind of big fish you can catch with that. Bait for fishing rod, set it uh, to your fishing rod. Hmm, we might have to try making some fishing bait pretty soon, you guys. All right, let's see, items, items, what do we need to buy? I wanna see what he has available. Oh, he sells the hammer now, okay. And let's see, mint, chamomile, and the lavender. He sells all of those, wonderful. Thank you very much, Cortez. And then we have Miss Allison at Animal Instincts over here, and she is the one we wanna be able to get our pet from. And we cannot actually have our pet just yet. Oh, let me see them, let me see them, Allison. Oh, she has sheep now. Oh my gosh, and there's more chickens. Oh, a timid little chicken, I wish I could take it home. And then look at all these guys. All right, so then we've got a short hair cat and a Jack Russell, who's good at finding plants, and so is the cat, and that is adorable. So we need to get a pet house built, which is one of the farm circles, before we're able to actually have any of these guys. So we need to go talk to Ludus after all, and I also wanna to talk to him to see what I could possibly upgrade um, my tools with. So let's come down here. Oh, is this ready to harvest? Not quite yet. All right, let's see what Horatio wants today. Welcome to the part-time job agency. Horatio, can I help? Okay, it looks like there's quite a few. Ship five flowers. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, ship four vegetables. I could. One milk. I do have one milk. I could totally do that. So I'll go ahead and ship the milk. And then we have woodcutter jobs for Luluco. And weeder jobs for Luluco. Which would immediately transport me there, which is useful. But I don't have... 
I don't have very many jobs that are based here in Must Town, so I just need to give presents. Give presents and cross my fingers that hopefully I will be able to use those gifts to push us up to town rank D. That would be awesome. All right, but we can do something for Miranda by taking a package to one of the priestesses in Luluco. So I'll go ahead and accept that job. And then I can't do any of the fishing jobs. And then let me go get the, the item from Miranda. And then I can try giving some people some gifts, like the doctor. I can give the doctor the mint that I just collected. All right, let's go in and say hello. Gosh, the day is going by so quickly. All right, and oh, it's noon, so he'll be having his tea. So a little a little uh, mint for your, your tea, Ford? Yes, have your business with me. Apologies, but could I ask you to wait a moment? Yes, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bother you. I just have a little bit of mint to offer him, so let me dig it out. Oh, and I needed to get more chicken feed and fodder pretty soon. All right, let me grab this, and then give him the mint. Wonderful. An excellent choice. You have a firm grasp of my preferences. So I'm glad that Ford's going to enjoy that. Probably use it to flavor his mint tea, and hopefully that'll help increase our friendship with them, because I know he really loves the mint. All right, let's see, well, who else likes what? I can't remember. I gave Miranda something once and she was like, you're infectious energy. Oh, hi, Lizette. Siri, anyone ever tell you what a great smile you've got? I miss it when you're not around. Oh, Lizette, that's so sweet. My parents were worried when I first said I wanted to take over the family business. They knew just how hard it was to run a business. But after I graduated from horticulture school, I finally talked them into it. Oh my. So I know what you must be going through, Siri. I'll be there for you through thick and thin. <gasps> Lizette, that's so sweet. Holy moly days. I didn't expect her to be like that amazingly sweet or to have graduated from horticulture school. Everybody here is like college educated. It's kind of impressive. All right, let's see. What do I have that I could offer her? All I've got is this moondrop flower. But Lizette, with those kind words, you sure earned it. Oh, there you go, Lizette. Thank you. That was really, really, really sweet of her. I can't believe she went to horticulture school, too. That's pretty cool. All right, Miranda. Hello, Miranda. I've been waiting for you, Siri. Delivery job, right? Thank you, Miranda. All right, tuck that away. Here's the package that needs delivering. Who it goes to is written right on this memo. I've got it. All right, let's see. And we'll talk to Miranda for a second. Welcome to Straw Market. All right, so, oh, Taylor Close, what? She just said something new about bringing materials and I zipped past it because I wasn't paying attention. But what is this about Taylor and Close? Great, what do you want me to make? What is this? <gasps> we can have a little, oh, look at this. You've got cute little overalls and then you've got a little newsboy cap we could have. Oh my gosh, so this is what happens if you start bringing specific cloths to her. And how do you get the cloth? You actually go with your wool and you change the wool into cloth and you even dye the wool or the, dye the cloth different colors. I'm not exactly sure how it all works out yet, but I know that's something that you can do. And this is just so cute. This is adorable. I want to have those adorable little overalls. They're just really, really, really cute. And we could even have a little newsboy cap, but I do like my straw hat. So there's a ton, a ton, a ton of different clothing items that you can make from all of the villages. So if you really want to go for like kind of a tropical island flair, like what they wear over in Luluco Village, you can actually get clothes like that. And if you want to go for something that's a little bit more like a farmer flair, then here you go. You got some more overalls. There's dresses. This is just a small hint of the tons and tons of clothes that you have access to once you get going. This is one of the most expansive Harvest Mooney games that I have ever played in my entire life. And it's amazing. And there's just more and more and more all the time it's so awesome oh look she got new items a coffee pack oh my gosh and that's 420 and I guess you use that to make coffee a pack of coffee grounds is a simple and easy way to enjoy a good cup so this is probably what we need to buy in order to make that coffee to give Wayne because he really loves coffee so you know what I kind of want to buy one just to try it I'm gonna buy one just one and we're gonna try it out. And I do need to start getting some sparkly fertilizer and things like that because I need to start using it. So I'm gonna buy a few more. I need to start using it on probably a radish of some kind and, and sprinkling it on my radish seeds so that that'll grow. And then there's a pocket calendar. I would really love to have the pocket calendar. That just sounds so cute. Um, you know what, it's pretty cheap. Let's just go ahead. A portable calendar with various plans written on it. Make sure you check your schedule. I could see that really helping us out. So I'm gonna grab that too. 
All right, thank you, Miranda. I haven't really told everybody how much money I made off the mines, but maybe that's a good thing. You don't want to brag. All right, let's head in here. And are y'all gonna let me? All right, good, so he is open, so I'm gonna buy recipes. I'll personally vouch for the quality of any of our recipes. Please, have a look at our selection. All right, thank you, Brad. So I probably want to buy, um, oh, I thought they had something for being able to make coffee here. Gosh darn. Unfortunately, it looks like they don't. Pudding, tomato, apple juice, cabbage rolls, soft tomatoes, Spanish omelet, um, corn pottage, uh, <laughs> potato pottage, so different soups. And then there's salads, onion salad, mashed potatoes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the soup and salad collection. And I hope that that will allow me to make, even though it's a little a little expensive, we're gonna get them. Hopefully that'll allow me to make even more foods. So I'll come back for the, the others at another time. Cause I think it's really important to make sure we have plenty of food availability. All right, hey Brad, hey Carrie. Hi, hi you two. Carrie? Oh, howdy Siri. I was just getting some exercise in. Huh. Working out gets tiring so quickly. But I have to work off the extra slice of cake before it goes to my waist. Oh, Carrie. So she's just like jogging in place, back and forth, back and forth. Um, maybe I can try giving Brad... I'm gonna give him one of my radishes, just because sometimes he seems to enjoy the radishes, and we're so close to a town link grading. All right, let's see. There we go. Whoa, I love these. Thanks, Siri. You know, talking to you has really cheered me up. Thanks. There you go, Brad. I'm so glad. All right, and that wasn't meant to rhyme. That's kind of cheesy, but it, it did anyway. All right, so let's run down here. I think I've pretty much visited everybody. Hi, kitty. It's too bad you're just a town link kitty and I can't take you home. Um, oh, 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 what's this? A Rocky Mountain Lotus. Let's see, we'll come over and talk to Wayne really quickly. Hey there, how are you doing with things? Oh, he quick, uh, Wayne, a little bit closer than what I meant to do. I like it when a house is filled with nice fragrances. That's why I always try to have some flowers around the place. That is so nice, Wayne. I thought of be being a postman meant I'd get to transfer, I'd get transferred all over the place. But I guess that's not always the case. And I'm starting to prefer it that way, really. I like it in West Town. That's pretty cool. So he must have had like a really adventurous nature. And then the reality is that he just got to stay in one place with the job he has. All right. So let's go ahead and take up one of the part-time jobs. All right. Let's see. Part-time job agency. And we're going to get ourselves uh, sent right over to Tototara. Because that is going to put us right next to Ludus. So we can figure out what we need for our pet house, you guys. So we can have some pets. Oh man, and I love, love, love coming to Lulu Coco. Oh my goodness. All right, so five pieces of wood, and I chose um, I chose the village elder because she doesn't make us do as much work as the other woman does, and we can be done with this just a little bit quicker. All right, there we go, there we go. And it feels good to be able to help him out with part-time jobs, even though I technically don't need to because I have a lot of money right now. Oh, what an impressive strength. Here, please take this as payment. Yay! And she gave me a huge bonus. Mahalo, Siri. Take care of yourself. Thank you. All right, Tototara. I need to talk to your son. Oh, there's a butterfly. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a dangerous Siri distraction. All right. And the avocado is still growing. Oh, blue quill. Oh, I think that Ludus really loves the blue quills. Ludus, why? <laughs> it's a Thursday. Curses! I was so close and yet so far. And there's a red quill. Hello, oh, Ludus, hi. I was just looking for you actually. Aloha, Siri. Oh, that's right. You say hello instead. Kind of strange when you think about it. All right, let's see. I, I think I, I heard somewhere that he loves the blue quills. So I wanna just try giving it to him if I have it somewhere. Oh my gosh, where is it? I need to sort through my stuff. All right, there we go. So this blue plumage, apparently he really enjoys. Maybe because of his blue hair. Hey, Ludus, what do you think? Oh, nice. Oh, nice blue quill, yeah? Is this really for me? Mahalo, I've always loved these. Whoa, today's really started to look up. Mahalo. Oh, that's so cool. I love how they'll talk about things differently uh, if they really love an item and they'll tell you how it really cheered their morning up. That's just so fun. Even when I was a kid, I knew I wanted to do some kind of job where I could help others. Is that why you have this job, Ludus? In a way, being a handyman is the perfect job for me. 
Oh no! He might win me away from Wayne and Ford for sure, but I haven't even met all of the bachelors yet. And look at these peacocks! I just can't get over these peafowl! Look at them! Look at them, you guys! Are they not the best? Just the rainbow peafowl? This is- this is just- I love them! I love them so much! Alright, I'm gonna gently put him down in just a second here. Alright, there you go, little guy. He doesn't know what to think about that. Oh, he's shimmering his little feathers at me! I love you so much! I can't even express how much I love you. Okay, I'm done- I'm done fawning at him. I wish I had something I could offer him. I wonder- I wonder what happens if you become friends with a peafowl. So, I mean, would chicken feed make them happy? If I, like, put a piece of chicken feed down? Hey, what do you guys think about that? No way. Oh, oh, they would go over to try to eat it. <laughs> that was so cool. I didn't expect him to actually try to go over and eat it. What about a plum? Let's place the plum on the ground and see. What, no, no. Place one plum on the ground. Let's see what happens. Can I make offerings to the little peafowl? Are they going to be happy with me? Yay! They liked it, you guys. So I'll bring them some wild fruit more often in the future. And I need to get out of here to be able to ship uh, that egg or that milk that was requested of me, but darn, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to pick a cat or dog to bring on to our farm just yet. We need to be a little bit more patient. We need to be able to wait until Ludus is open to shop again, but that's okay. We're doing really, really well, and I can't wait to ask him what it's going to take. Oh, hi, Carolia. How are you today? When the sea is choppy and rough, you shouldn't go anywhere near it. If you get caught up in its riptide, you'd be in big trouble. Thank you, Carolia. Oh, all the flowers have grown. Uh, oops, dang it. We talk about all sorts of things. It's sort of a big girl's day out. Okay, I gotta come over here. Thank you. I went too fast. I was trying to catch the beautiful, beautiful flowers. Oh, look, there's a little weed. I can clear that up too. And I just remembered I have a package for the priestesses. Oh gosh, this puppy. He's so cute. I wonder who I can buy animals from in this town. All right, not for you, my dear. Over here, aha. A delivery? Oh, that must be it. It must be that, even. There you go. What? You want to know what it is? Th that's for me to know. Anyway, mahalo. Alright, so let's talk to her. Oh, hi, Siri. It's almost nap time. I'm going to have to figure out how to befriend these ones. Um, it's a little tricky. I don't know what to offer them because I'm not really getting a good a good idea of their personality in any particular direction. Alright, we'll do... Oh, what's that? What's that? Eh, 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 eh. I think we saw, almost saw a little bug, but it ran off. All right, any coral or anything for me to collect today? I love splashing along this beach. It's just the best. And can I feed the turtle? Let's see. Will the turtle enjoy maybe one of my radishes? This is pretty, this is pretty special, Mr. Turtle. I could just keep this radish. I could just keep it and eat it. Do you want to eat it? No, he hid in his shell. All right, so being able to convince the turtles to eat something is going to be a little trickier. And I need to run, 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 run. I think I, I think I spent too long running around Luluco and I missed out on the, oh, there's butterflies. And I missed out on the shipping thing. Oh, a peacock butterfly even. I was just hanging out with real peacocks. That's so cool. All right, and we need to put this milk in here and I think this egg in here, holy moly, look at how much our egg is starting to be worth. Oh, Radish really loves me. My little, my little one really, really loves me. I'm so happy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this egg too. And there we go. All right. So now what to do? My plants don't really need watered yet. Uh, my animals could probably be ready to go back inside. Come on, Radish. And darn, I really, really wanted to be able to focus on getting a... Let's see. We're going to add more food. We're going to get add all the food I have. I want to be able to get more chickens. I want to be able to get a lot more like the pets I want to be able to see what it's going to take to get a wool bearing animal of some kind there you go what do you think about that oh minty I'm glad you're having a good day how's she doing let's check your little notebook let's see she's already at three affection I think that's because she's super cheerful oh and I should have bought them some treats I didn't even think about it but we'll just keep working at it oh look at Megan's here hi Megan don't push yourself too hard here, Siri. Take my hand a moment. Now pull my arm straight out. That's it. Hmm? What's this? Why achy sh why shoulder stretches, of course. There's a big difference between doing them and not doing them at my age. Oh, Megan. 
<laughs> That's kind of adorable. I don't think I have anything I can just like give her as an impromptu gift other than a radish. Uh, I don't think she'd really appreciate a radish. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have? We have a whole bunch of quills. Now I know this blue quill is something that Ludus really enjoys. And let's see, the yellow plumage. I think you can also save the quills and you can actually use them to change colors of the cloth that you can collect. So, hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that, guys. Also, I think if these potatoes grow quickly enough, then what if I submit a potato at the end of the month for the Harvest Festival? When is the Harvest Festival? Well, you know what? Now we can check our handy dandy little pocket notebook. Really wonderful. A week from now is my birthday and the Harvest Festival is going to be on the 30th. So I think that we can designate this particular potato patch. Oh, it's ready to be watered. And let's go ahead and eat some potato bread. And that will really help me out with being able to take care of things. And then I'll even have uh, maybe some vegetable bread. Look at that. That is so cool. I love that we have our own food now. <laughs> I just might be able to survive long enough to take care of everything I need to. But let me go ahead and I'm going to sprinkle the sparkly fertilizer on this potato patch. And it is now and forever going to be known as the designated uh, sparkly potato patch. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not forever, but at least until the festival, the harvest festival, when we want to show off what kind of beautiful potatoes we have made. But, all right, how can I survive watering all the crops? That is the question. Because you do want to water them twice a day. And now a good question may be the fact that I might start living off of cornbread because you can buy cornmeal from the shop all of the time. Okay, these guys aren't quite ready. You can buy cornmeal from the shop all the time and you only need cornmeal for cornbread. So that may be what will get me through when I don't have a lot of crops on my own yet. So, hmm, I don't know if I can give everybody else their second watering of the day. Oh no. But it should be okay. Let's go inside. And the last thing we're going to do is actually, let's see, come over here. And I am going to put a whole bunch of things. Let's see, like the coffee pack can go away. Um, the maple branches can go away because we want to save those for making farm circles out of. Pebbles can go away. Rocks can go away. Black rock. Uh, the copper. Well, we might want to hold on to the copper because maybe that copper will help us out when we talk to Ludus tomorrow. Glass stone, I'm not really sure what to do. Same with the iron can stay. Calla lilies, oh, I should give those to some people. All these beautiful flowers I should give away as gifts. That would be really fun. And the quills, I'm actually going to tuck. I kind of want to give that blue quill away. All right, I'm going to give Ludus the blue quill. Gosh darn, he is kind of like... He is kind of growing on me, guys. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. But let's go ahead and see what kind of recipes we just bought today. Mashed potatoes, which were... Oh, level two recipe unlocked. Uh, when we get to level two recipes, that's when we will unlock the ability to pick toppings for our mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we can make butter out of our milk. And then we have got mashed potatoes and onion salad now. And then we've also got potato pottage, which requires potato milk and... Let's see, we've got corn pottage, which is corn and milk, or carrot soup, which is carrots and milk. And then we've got, let's see, I think we only have, yeah, we only have the other dishes that we got, the breads. Other than that, I think the breads may actually help us out more because it's a little bit hard to get all our hands on all that milk. But maybe mashed potatoes will be really good. So we'll have to wait till we have more potatoes and then we can make mashed potatoes. But all right, guys, I think that's it for now. Let's see. Do we have anything special coming up pretty soon? Nothing in particular, though we do need to keep an eye on Wayne's birthday. Hmm. So maybe tomorrow we will spend a little bit of time in Luluco. Maybe I could do a little bit of special fishing and we can see what kind of fish we can catch there. I can try giving gifts to the priestesses and the other villagers to see what they really enjoy. And maybe there are some special items that I have missed out on being sold at all of those little shops. So we'll spend some time at Luluco and hopefully figure out how to get our pet house next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.